Here's a quick little video, ladies and gentlemen, on an exchange I just had with Zionist heretic Anne Barnhart. Uh, as many of you know, I tried to gather some of your feedback in terms of who you would like to see on Trad Cat Night Radio. And it doesn't matter really what background they come from, whether they're denominational Protestant, whether they're Novus Ordite, uh, whether they are Zionist heretic like Anne. Feniite heretics. That's kind of pushing it because, as you know, we've got uh, a lot of beef with the, with that particular group, that particular segment. Uh, but tonight, as I was sending out invites once again, many of you have been uh, requesting Ann Barnhart. Some of you uh, who knew I was going to put that invite out there had been uh, reluctant, to say the least, because of her her heretical uh, belief structure in certain areas. But today, uh, after sending a message, uh, she had responded um, to my invite to discuss anti-Pope Francis because she is correct uh, on that issue. She says, like all of your six human followers, absolutely not. You are a transparent fraud. Never contact me again. Now, obviously, she's refer referring to the propaganda piece put out there by the Feniite heretics, the Diamond Brothers. As you know, we called them out. They didn't like that, so they tried to do a propaganda piece. I came back, explained everything uh, that we do here at Trad Cat Night um, to settle that. And then also, I'll get into this at the back end of this particular piece. But there's a lot of rumors and propaganda out there. And as we continue to grow, I've warned you that people were going to start saying more and more nastier things, more and more rumors were going to come about. Uh, but nevertheless, I want you all to keep sending me uh, who you think you would like on the show. Many of you even suggested Bishop Filet. Listen, I'll do my best to try to get whoever on the show. I feel that I'm more than fair trying to find common points with people. But obviously, uh, this woman who certainly isn't a, a model at all for what it is to be a woman, uh, not in any respect, almost a spirit of feminism about her. Uh, just being very rude. I have never talked to her before this day. And, uh, you know, I just res responded that I kind of suspected who she was. Uh, as you know, most of us would agree who've been on my website that I knew that she was a heretic. Uh, but then she, she went on to say in response again, uh, if you suspected me of being a fruitcake fraud and heretic, why were you, quote-unquote, begging me to come up onto your fake website up until 90 seconds ago? You're not very bright, uh, are you? Uh, now, this is uh, kind of interesting because if she actually read the subject line uh, to what uh, I had labeled uh, this particular piece, it said, people are requesting you, not me, people. Uh, so apparently she didn't pass remedial English because I made it quite clear that people following Trad Cat Night were requesting me. Um, and so, uh, you know, I just went on to say that, you know, I think it was that time of the month for her, to put it in more coarse terms, that she, she needs to know and understand how to talk to people because I certainly... I'm not going to accept that kind of talk. And it's always, you know, we run into these people, whether it's on Cath Info or whoever wants to run their mouths. And listen, they can talk tough behind their computers, but I guarantee you, once they stand in front of me, they're not saying anything. I guarantee you that they won't say anything. And that's just how it is. Many of them are just cowards. They hide behind, uh, you know, their websites and their computers. I'm more than willing to talk to Ann or anyone else via Skype via the phone, if they've got a problem with me. But that's not going to happen, and you and I both know it. Uh, the bottom line is, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I don't want to discourage you all from trying to send in you know, certain people who have, obviously, uh, different opinions. As you know, we try to get a wide swath of people on the show with backgrounds. Uh, again, but for those who are confused, and very much is a Zionist heretic. She's not even Catholic. She's fallen for that nonsense. Um, but the propaganda that's out there, remember, as we continue to grow, uh, people are not going to like uh, what I have to say in general. And because there are so many issues out there, 
based upon what issue, that's when the propaganda pieces will come out. And some of the latest ones are, uh, you know, because of my adult uh, ministry, there's websites out there that have me blacklisted from some of the girls that I talk with because, because they don't like to be proselytized. So there are false conservatives like Anne. I'm not saying Anne has done this, but people like her who make websites about me implying that I'm a pornographer. So if you're cruising online and you see something like that, use your brain and noodle to realize that mostly what's on the internet in terms of hit pieces isn't accurate. And maybe you should try contacting uh, the person first. But anyway, there's also uh, more suggestion that I'm a Jew and a double agent I have seen, which is comical because I have a double-headed eagle. I'm a 33rd degree Freemason, when obviously this is Catholic symbology and on and on and on. You need to be very, very careful, folks, about what you're seeing uh, out there. As you know, I try to do my best to keep things uh, on the objective level. But clearly, as much as this woman tries to make other people uh, feel a little bit uncomfortable, I assure you, if she was standing in front of me, she would be very uncomfortable. She wouldn't say the things that she says. I can guarantee you that. Bottom line is she's a heretic. Just wanted everyone to put that out there. I'm not going to pursue her anymore, obviously. Uh, but I do welcome if Anne does uh, happen to get this and all six of my viewers, as she claims. Someone's ego is bruised, apparently. Um, please do a piece on me. Please do a video. Please do a write-up. You and I both know you said so yourself. You had a lot of donation droppings, obviously. You're not even doing too well in the rankings, Alexa rankings, so we know your website traffic is, is not great. So you, we know, as I've mentioned to the John Sauls and everyone else who has attacked us, Cath Info, who now has a ranking of 1 million, they're completely irrelevant. You and I both know you're going to lose more of your people. So I appreciate any free advertising and publicity. Right how Eric is a fraud, put that Diamond Brother Feniite heretic video up, put up the propaganda that Eric is a Jew and a Mason and a pornographer and just watch the people leave your website. Again, folks, if you have questions, comments, feedback, special guest suggestions, send them to me at apostleofmary at hotmail.com. Get to tradcatnight.blogspot.com, the number one ranked traditional Catholic website in the world with all six of its followers, according to Ann. Uh, make sure you are getting into the information that's on the right-hand side of the website because there's a lot that people are missing, especially the daily news feed, especially the blog archive. Uh, but the point of this uh, message is overall, I don't want you to be discouraged in relation to the guest uh, suggestions Sometimes I have issues even with my email, so I think I've probably sent her five or six requests over the past three or four months, and I'm finding that a lot of my emails aren't even going through. Uh, so wanted you, wanted you to know that situation. I know many of you were disappointed. I was even going to get try to get her on the show because you had already been label her, labeling her a Zionist her heretic and a potty mouth and this or that, but hey, listen, try to give everyone a fair share, but it's quite obvious this woman has a very... Uh, let's just say interesting spirit about her and uh, I think uh, as I mentioned to her you know trying to talk like Tony tough guy especially coming from a female certainly uh, doesn't pass not even in this modern age and truly uh, as I mentioned this is something that we all have to continue to work upon in relation to our interior life uh, but nevertheless she is right on the question of actually who is the Pope and Barnhart is a Zionist heretic. And until next time, my good friends, stay safe and God bless.